Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today we're doing the best tweaks of the week. We do these in collaboration every week with ModMyEye.com, so be sure and check those guys out as well. The first one we're going to share with you is called Adam for iOS 8. This is a lock screen tweak. And if we go to our lock screen, you'll see right here that we have a little button right above the little line there across the screen in the middle and if we tap our finger and hold it we're presented with six different icons now we can customize those icons to be whatever we want them to be and if we were to just swipe over any one of these it would open that app directly and i'm going to swipe over top settings and release and of course you will have to enter in your uh, passcode if you have one like so and then it will all take you all into the to the uh, settings app now as you well saw also if you want to just unlock the device you can do that too and you can do that by just opening or swapping over the little unlock icon there and it will just simply unlock your device. That is, you will have to enter in your passcode as well to get that to unlock. That's called Adam for iOS 8. The second one we're gonna be looking at is called Auto Rotate Videos. This is a free one, and I think I skipped to tell you that the uh, Adam tweak was $2.99, so you can get that in Big Boss. This is a free tweak here we're looking at now. And what this tweak does, guys, is it'll let you rotate or choose which direction that your videos rotate whenever you go from landscape to portrait. And let me show you what I mean by that. And, of course, since we're using this particular tweak, um, AirPlay, I can't show you this, but what it does is it allows you to rotate your videos left when you flip your device left your video will rotate to the left if you want it to rotate to the right when you go to landscape you can set it to do that as well by going to the customization settings here under the settings app and go into the auto rotate videos and you can see here your rotation direction is left auto detect or right and I have it set on left right now so whenever I put my device in the landscape position then the rotation direction would be left for the video so that's how that one works the next tweak we're going to be looking at is called Stratus you can get this for $1.99 and Big Boss also and this is a awesome multitasking uh, switcher tweak guys if you want to refer to it as a multitasking app switcher you can and that's exactly what it does, but it includes so much more. Uh, it sort of combines your app switcher and control centers to get together in a miniature kind of way. But what one thing I really like about this is you can set which page you want to open first. Like if you want it to open to the control centers, when you swipe up, like right here, you can set it to open to this page, or you can set it to open up to your app switchers. However you want it to do, you can set that under the settings menu here. And right here is what your settings looks like. You first have to enable it. Then you have some physical changes you can make, such as the style, whether you want the dock to be blurred, common blurred, uh, control center style is what I have it set to right now. We'll put it on dark and see what that looks like. And you can choose the parallax effect here if you want it on and off I'll turn it off and when I increase and decrease this slider right here watch the effect it has on the blurred out portion of the screen right here see how it grows larger and smaller so that's how you can increase and decrease the height of your switcher as it refers to and on below that you have some functionality uh, options you can show running app and switcher you can activate it via the home button you can enable quick launch you can show home screen card 
which I have turned off. I can turn that on. Show a page per third of screen. We can turn that on and it'll make it actually a third of the screen, page per third of screen. A different page based on where you swipe. Paging, default, switch your cards, that's what I was referring to. Or you can have it set to control center and I'll turn that on, or media controls. So our default is gonna be when we swipe up, now it's gonna actually come, it should come up to be our control center. Uh, page order, maybe that's where it's at here, right here control center and the number of switcher pages uh, I have from one to five are all this is the number of pages to show for the switcher cards and open to media if playing uh, that would probably be best and uh, more is just the developers info so you can go through that and sort of set it up however you want but here's what it's going to look like whenever you use it and it as you can see, it looks really, really nice. I really like the way this looks. Overall, it just looks very, very unique. And for the most part, just, a, just an awesome way to multitask. You still have your app switcher, of course. It doesn't take the place of it. But you can, when you go to your control center, that's where this will be invoke now is when you open your control center and it's called Stratus and it's 199 the next tweak we're looking at is a keyboard tweak and you can see looking at my space bar that it's a pretty simple tweak all it does is allows you to add some text whatever you want it to be to your space bar and I have added hello YouTube now all you have to do to change that is open settings and then open up your actual tweak that's called space text and in here you enable it and then you can choose whatever you want it to be right here and it does require a respring in order for it to take effect so I'm going to hit save and respring and then once it comes back up now it's going to have my name on the on the actual space bar rather than the hello YouTube text we saw earlier. So now we'll go in here and look and see exactly how it looks. And as you can see, it has my name right there. So that's a pretty unique but yet simple tweak and maybe something that some of you out there will enjoy having. Last but definitely not least is one called Widget Center and you can get this for $1.99 in Big Boss Repo and it's compatible with the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus running iOS 8. What this does guys it lets you put the power of widgets right above your screen whenever you have the, the little space there for the drop down when you use re the reachability view and let me show you what I mean by that you get reachability by double tapping the home button twice and it should drop down if you have it enabled now to enable reachability or to make sure that you have it turned on you need to go open settings and go to general go to accessibility and go down to where it says reachability and from there there's a toggle and it should be turned on as you can see right there mine is so now when we open up an application or anything like that we can open Twitter and once it opens up, we can double tap our home button. Or let's open up iClarified. And you double tap your home button. It will drop down and give you the reachability. And that's where you can see that your widget center can be set up. 